Hey Mazev here, welcome to You Can't Scare Me Overview. This is gonna be a prime example of why merging App Lab and Official Store was pretty much a mistake. I do try to filter all the monkey games overall, but sometimes, like now, we'll have games that I had no idea how low of the quality I would experience. So You Can Scare Me is a social horror game where you get trapped in the haunted house where you have to find the keys to the door and manage your escape all while triggering scary traps and meeting familiar faces. I'm saying that because most of the project, if not everything, is a general Unity asset flip where you just encounter things that a lot of games use and it feels as bare bones as it actually looks. I'll give the developers that the base concept was relatively solid because you're kinda organizing your own haunted house with setting traps in special places that you'd think players would most likely pass and get scared pretty easily or do that yourself dressing up as scary monsters. Problem is that with the execution, technicalities and visuals everything falls flat. I personally played the single player mode which was rather empty and for the right reasons cause the real deal would be in the multiplayer settings so if you have couple friends to play with it could be some cute October Halloween fun but other than that being on the official store and paying some money for it it's a little bit questionable. Let's go get scared! Ooh. <laughs> it's me, your host, Gregor the Horrible, and welcome to You Can't Scare Me. <laughs> Let me show you around. This is the game mode machine. Press the buttons to pick which mode you'd like to play. Single player lets you go through one of the spooky levels solo. Party mode lets you scare your friends with one headset. Take turns setting up traps and facing your fears. Casting the fun is recommended. Multiplayer lets you scare your friends in real time. One to three friends set up scary encounters and wear costumes to get the last friend to scream their head off. Ah! Good luck! <laughs> It's this trend of horror games to cover all their mistakes and put everything in just dark mode, like... I can see there's not much quality going on. But it's interesting there is a single play mode in a rather... party game. And I don't think I'm getting a tutorial, so... I'm just gonna have to go with it. Wow. <laughs> level time. Pick an unlocked level by pressing its button. It's very basic. Scoring is over here. For more details on scoring points, check out the display. Now, press the start button. What if I have muted microphone? Does that bypass it? But at least we have this. <laughs> Before you start, let me give you some tips. You're gonna need them. The main thing, try not to scream. Or do, <laughs> I like it better. Your bracelet is fueled by fear. More than a whisper out of you, you consider yourself officially scared. See, we've taken away your teleport powers and you'll be slower than a mindless zombie. Now you can't even run from the evil horrors you'll encounter. <laughs> Trust me. It's more fun this way. 
goal is to collect the three glowing keys. Then take them back to the door with the lock and escape. Simple. Check your bracelet at any time to see how many keys you have. I would have gotten them all by now. <laughs> you can also gather glowing bones for extra points. There are seven skeleton parts to collect. I'm not sure what you're doing with all these bones, but uh, you better be evil. <laughs> good luck out there, and uh, I hope you have a screamingly good time. <laughs> Cringe. Game's constantly trying me to unlock the microphone, but it's not happening. But that should be very eerie when you're alone. I see you. Can I have like some weapons? It doesn't seem like things are interactable. I mean, it is a little bit jump scary, but... It's not like high levels of horror. <laughs> Especially that some you can see. Okay. Problem is that it's very subtle. Especially that the color is exactly the same as floor. I feel like I have to switch the multiplayer. To really get the full experience. What? <laughs> Honestly, I'll switch cause this ain't it really. <laughs> There's no really much making I feel like. Or just no one is playing. I'll wait a little bit, but then... If not, I'll just... Do some quick rundown. It seems like the layout isn't really changing. We're in the exact same... Environment. It's just that the traps are placed in different places. And the monsters are also placed differently. I wonder what's the intensity, if it changes, depending on the number of the keys. Shish. Because it could easily be some kind of Slerdelman-ish experience.
How many do we have now? I just need one. Can I get a thumbnail? Okay, dude. This honestly could be like a word in Horizon Words. Don't touch me. I guess it's also because it's not real people. They don't approach me. Well, it's very dark as well. Is there more variety in traps? <laughs> like now they should chase me or jump on me before escaping. I'm literally giving tips for the developer. Okay. That's pretty much it. As low as the price is, it feels low quality and on the up lap level of things. It might be cute for the party game, but other than that, I don't really see it being worthy of the official store, but that's just the consequences of the migration. Technicalities, textures are very low, mechanics almost non-existent and traps not really varied in the scary department like if you would not be concentrated on what you're doing then maybe yes you would get jump scared but otherwise cheap shots at least in single player multiplayer probably a completely different experience